on the home page of my white of my uh, website i have set out a number of uh, beliefs that i have probably 15 or 20 and so i thought i'd run through some of those uh, i deal first with the electioning process itself and maybe if i quickly read in eliminating all taxpayer contributions towards election expenses except a fixed per voter contribution for each candidate's expenses for one brochure circulation and one lo local newspaper ad and that political advertising should be limited and subject to proper rules of conduct this year it's expected that this election will cost over 500 million dollars there are 24 million registered voters in Canada. So that is about what, $20 million, $20 per head that it's costing the taxpayers. I believe that if they allotted $5 for each taxpayer and simply mailed out a written outline of the policies and capabilities of the candidates, this would give the candidates to make up their mind on how they would vote. And that would only be only be 100 million. Also, it bothers me that uh, the political parties are allowed to uh, decide whether or not a candidate selected by the local organization can be continue as the party candidate. I don't think that's proper at all. And the other thing I don't like about the engineering process is the first past the post one where the highest number of votes, although it's not the a majority or of votes, uh, gets to be the candidate elected. I believe in the role of uh, random voting in which if there are five candidates, you express your first choice, your second choice, your third choice, your fourth choice, and your fifth choice, with the lowest number of votes dropping off, and then the second vote uh, is put forward to your second choice of candidate. This means that you at least have a chance to select who you think is best, so that candidates aren't put out uh, and that somebody is elected with a minority of votes. Uh, that, uh, that, uh, the, the other, uh, the proportional voting scheme that people talk about means that the votes would go to parties so that the voters in one constituency may very well find out that they're voting, their vote is counting for some candidate in some altogether different constituency. And this would be help the major parties because then they would end up with small splitter parties uh, getting in there and uh, without any chance of forming gov a government. Whereby if all constituencies selected one candidate, that candidate would represent all the people in that constituency. So I think there are some major, major changes that should be made in the way that we conduct our elections. Thank you.